Listen, I won't sit here and pretend that I just had total faith and I just knew that that Fire Red 5 would actually be fulfilled and delivered to my doorstep. I didn't know that. But your girl was blessed and now, yes, I'm the proud owner of the Air Jordan 5 Retro Fire Red. <sighs> Guys, listen, the stress it was a lot, but we have finally made it. talks with TJ, AKA TJ Two Shoes Chains. I got on all the chains, but when I was actually doing this part, this outfit of the video, I totally forgot to pull those chains from outside of the collar of my shirt. So yes, let's act like we've been here before. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Thank you for tuning in uh, to Swoosh Crew. Guys, listen, we were stressing a little bit, right? We were stressing because Hibbit, cancel your girl's order. Cancel my order. Terrible, terrible, just, uh, it was just a letdown, right? And then I said, hey, we're just gonna give this a shot. Now I know there, there was, it was going around a lot of people's orders from Foot Locker, sometimes from Champs, Kids Foot Locker, they were being canceled. Prayed that did not happen to me and placed my order with Kids Foot Locker because yes, I still wear a gray school. I'm really a six and a six and a half. It just depends on the style. If you are curious in relation to the actual Jordan 5, I went with a six because this shoe tends to run a little bit bigger to me. Now I understand it may not be that way for some people. I think Jumpman Bostic said he felt this actual release ran half a size too small, but for me, the six was perfect even for me to wear with thicker Nike Elite Performance socks. Well, actually I should just say Nike Performance, the cushion socks. They fit great, I have enough room. So I actually went with a size six. Uh, I just, if I go with a 6.5, just way too big for me, but place my order with Kids Foot Locker. You guys saw that uh, for the video of, hey, Hibbit's canceled my order. I went ahead, Hibbit Sports, I should say, cancel my order, so I, I'll let you guys know, place the order 
and got delivered today. Well, today when I'm filming this, I'm not sure when you guys are gonna see this, but I will do my best to get it out as soon as possible because I know if you are a grade school size like myself, you may want to actually see what it looks like on foot or how I would style it. Now, men, I will just say this. I will say this. And for everybody, anybody that's new, hey welcome what's going on <laughs> thank you um feel free to subscribe if you like the video like what you see tons of content available um, you can go back and watch some and then we'll have plenty of content as well looking ahead for the week and weeks to come and the rest of the year i promise you that listen men usually i style a lot of my kicks where you guys can take from what you like from the outfit and women as well i know i'm very much so a tomboy okay but your girl here i just i had to tap into the uh the summer vibe and that's right short short so guys i don't expect you to rock shorts this short i don't i really really don't so how did I actually choose to stop? Well, you know what? Before we get into the styling, let's just talk about the actual Fire Red 5. And let's just talk about this Jordan 5, right? Because we know the shoe originally came out in 1990, March of 1990. Listen, I was a little bitty baby, so let me not even pretend that I, yeah, I had those. No, I did not. <laughs> I was born November 1989, so I did not have these, and I definitely didn't know anything about it. But Jordan, this is this is right before. He's on that precipice. He's on that precipice of getting that first ring, but didn't quite happen in 1990. We know you have to fast forward when he actually played in the Air Jordan 6, and that's when he won his first ring. So this is kind of the prelude. Now, I'm always captivated by Tinker Hatfield and what inspired him to design specific shoes or silhouettes, because some of them may not make sense to us, or we may have never thought, yeah, let's design a shoe after a plane. That's exactly what he did, right? He designed it after a World War I can't say that ever. World War II, there you go, TJ, great job. Um, a fighter plane, and we know that it, it had a very aggressive style to it. So that's why you see the shark teeth design on the midsole of the actual Air Jordan 5, and then it has the enlarged tongue. Now, I will admit, I've never owned a five. Fives were not the silhouette that captured my attention. It wasn't, and I know that the Off-White Five came out this year. It's a very special silhouette and style to Virgil Abloh. Uh, listen, a lot of you went after it. You wanted that during All-Star Weekend. I did not. It's not that I dislike the five so much that I would never own it. Clearly I have one now, but the that particular, the black one didn't do it as much. I actually do care for more of the, no pun intended, off-white and red version that he has coming out. But if I was gonna get a five, I just felt it only right and respectful to go for an OG five, not go for a hype one that's a collaboration, but go for an OG five. So that's what I did, went with the fire red. Now, some people don't like a lot of just a predominantly white, upper shoe. I've read that in the comment section from some of you, and I get it. That's just total respect for that. I happen to actually like a lot of predominantly all white shoes. So this is not an issue to me. Now, why are people so excited about this? Because the shoe did retro 2000, and then we had it, what was it, in 2013 again. And so now we're at the 30th anniversary of when he scored 69 points against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cleveland, I'm sorry, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. There ain't nothing you can do about 69 points. You take that L and you just, you keep it pushing. You continue to feel good about yourself because there's nothing you can do. It was Jordan, he scored 69. Absolutely nothing you can do about that. But this provided us the OG Nike Air branding on the back. Now it's stitched in. I love it, okay? Again, everything about this shoe for a grade school, I feel it was executed really, really well. Now, if some people say, hey, the, the toe box is gonna crease. Well, yeah, shoes do that, they crease. I'm never one to flip out about shoes creasing. Now, it doesn't look the best when it happens on an all white Air Force One, but when it comes to a Jordan 5, to me, when the netting that is on the actual upper of the shoe and then the tongue, when that starts to break down, and I don't mean like just yellow, that actually adds a little bit of character to it, but no, when it's actually just dirty from not being cleaned, then I don't think it looks as good, but I do think it still fares really really well um, just in terms of when it does age and it does yellow so I love the shoe now you will see that yeah there's a little bit of flaws right but the shoe may not be immaculate and spotless it may have an overhang of material certain places listen 
you get what you get sometimes. We know that we feel we deserve more when we pay for what we pay for the shoes. I paid 140. I did not get these on a discount, regardless if I work for a secret store or not right now. So I paid 140 plus tax, so it came out to 149. 80, but I'm still very happy about the shoe. Now, I didn't know what the excitement would be when I got it in hand, right? I've seen fives before, of course. I've even tried on a five. I, I looked at the satin five and I was just like, yeah, it just didn't do it enough for me. I'm not sure if it was the all over upper satin material, but when it comes to this, I'm very, very happy with it. Now, in terms of styling, so let's get back to the actual styling part. Ladies, you see the short shorts. Well, I'm actually paying homage to Hove. If you remember, let's take it all the way back to the VMA award show when Hove rocked the fire red fives. He had the white bulls jersey on. Now he had denim shorts that came all the way darn near down to his ankles. I'm not doing that, but I did want to pay respect to Hove, Jay-Z, one of my favorite rappers of all time. So that's why I styled these the way that I did with the denim shorts and my white bulls jersey that's hanging up back there on the rack. And I th it just comes together perfectly, right? It worked back then, it works now because both of those pieces from the fives to the jersey are timeless. And then when you look at the second outfit, now I'm rocking this shirt. I thought about rocking just a regular Jordan shirt, but I just wanted to switch it up. So I'm rocking this shirt. It's actually an eight man strong shirt. It says strong love, right? And I, I rocked it kind of as a play off the fact we have a strong love for kicks, right? You may have passed on the shoe over and over and over again, but as your style evolves or your taste evolves and you say, hey, you know what, I want, I want more OGs in the collection, that love takes over and that's what happened. And I have that, ladies, it gets hot in the spring and in the summer, so I did not my shirt. It's one of those super soft shirts, so I did not my shirt and I decided to pair them or pair this with some Tom Girl jeans. Now they are a little bit on the baggier side, which I think is fun. Listen, throw on some Nike Pro shorts, ladies, go ahead because these jeans are gonna ride a little bit low. So I threw on the Nike Pro shorts, that way the actual band can show. And then I still have on my Nike Cruise socks paired also with uh, just a plaid shirt that you can wrap around, right? It was a little bit cool actually outside when I was filming this video. So for those cooler nights, go ahead, throw the plaid shirt on. But ladies, we can rock something a little bit baggier and still be feminine, right? I have the hair done, I got the hoops on, you got your jewelry on, whatever, get your nails done. Listen, I think I think it works. At least this is how I would style it. So this is more geared towards the ladies, man. This is, this is not to leave you guys out, but ladies, I just wanted to show you how you could have one or you have the shorts and then you decide to go a little bit more tomboyish but still be very very cute listen ladies just you can you can be comfortable and baggy and cute okay listen steal his stuff and rock it better than he does and look better than he does it that's the mantra that i have that's what i think you ladies should do don't go steal your man stuff i don't need to i literally can just buy my own and have no problems no worries but did you did, did you cop? If you never answered the question, were you able to pick up the fire red fives? Please let me know in the comment section. I hope that you were. I know it's gonna restock a lot, which is fine. Restock, let people have the chance to get this shoe. I'm not disappointed whatsoever. So now I finally have a five. If you're curious, I still, I, I don't have a two. I don't have a seven yet. I don't have a nine. I've had nines in the past. I just don't have them anymore. I sold the 110 that I had, so I don't have a 10. And then I don't have a 14. So of those silhouettes, I don't know if the 14 is one I would pick up. I would be very much so open to the other styles. And I'll probably go back for more OG colors if I'm going to finally add those silhouettes into my modern day collection. So thank you so much again for tuning in. I know you guys are stressing, you were worried. And I love the support that you guys give because as soon as you saw me post, on my community page that your girl got the shipping confirmation email. You are just as excited for me and I, I appreciate that. We're, we're in this together because we know what it's like to take an L. We know what it's like to get a delayed W. That's actually what occurred for the Air Jordan 1 game Royal Toe. So as soon as it arrives, I will do my best to get that out to you. I already know how I'm going to style it. It's not going to be the whole basic, just a white shirt and just some black pants. That's not what that's going to be. I'm very excited to get that in guys but thank you again as always act your age not your shoe size what an iconic shoe to finally have in hand i know you've seen it 
already on YouTube on so many other channels, but know that I appreciate and humbly respect the fact that you still decided to tune in to watch my breakdown of the shoe, see how I would style it, and finally have this in my collection. I mean, Tinker Hatfield, hats off to you again, way back when in 1990. Uh, I could say you did it again, but it's, it's a re-release, but it's a retro, but I, you know, I feel like you did it again. So thank you again so much. As always, peace.